I want to kind of close the loop on another one of these false allegations of cancellation and businesses doing the wrong thing. We talked at the top of the show about how within uh, sort of this reactionary framework of fueling fear and getting people to abandon critical thinking and rational thought, one of the things that often happens is that reactionaries will abandon their stated principles. One such stated principle that we followed on the right for a very long time is basically businesses should be allowed to do whatever they want. If a business wants to do something, if it's not illegal, then that's it. It's just it's a business decision and we shouldn't be regulating that. Uh, Of course, they abandoned this very quickly when Twitter says, hey, you know what? We don't want anti-vax content on our platform. They quickly say it's violating people's free speech. Twitter should be regulated. But it's like, well, hold on a second. I thought you guys were the party against regulating businesses. This started to come up about a month ago when my pillow CEO and Trump suck up Mike Lindell started complaining, hey, my bank wants to cancel me. My bank is telling me they don't want my business anymore due to what they're calling reputational risk. Now, this is a very standard thing at banks. Banks regularly assess their customers and uh, and ask questions like, well, of course, do we believe that this is a fraudulent business? If it is, then they don't want to to store assets, hold assets for that business. But they also uh, inquire or think about reputational risk is our association with this business or this individual potentially going to damage our reputation. And if it is, they could say, we don't want your business. It's a, a perfectly reasonable decision that a bank can make. Uh, My pillow CEO, uh, Mike Lindell, also known to us as Mike pillow a month ago, started saying they're trying to cancel me. They're doing the wrong thing. This is crazy. They're silencing me, all these different things. And we said at the time uh, they can do that. This is something banks do. You're supposedly against regulation. And now, indeed, one of the banks that my pillow uses has cut ties with Mike Lindell business insider reporting that the Minnesota bank and trust is terminating its business relationship with pillow. Um, his accounts will be closed two days from now. And a month ago, as I told you, the bank said that Lindell was a reputational risk. Here is pillow on with Steve Bannon. And again, businesses making legal decisions, which normally these right wingers love and defend to the death. These we shouldn't regulate them. Let them do what they want. Get out of their way. And yet here he is complaining. Tell us what happened today, sir. Please, sir. Sir. Well, I just got served the papers. Uh, They're closing my account at uh, Minnesota Bank and Trust. That's Heartland Heartland Financial Inc. Remember, we brought it up a couple a couple of weeks ago, and all of you reached out to those uh, to their the bank president and stuff at Minnesota Bank and Trust, and mm. I hadn't heard from. Them. Well, the coward served these paper this paper on Friday afternoon after the after the biz close of business. Day. How dare they do it on a Friday afternoon? They, they didn't even bother to sign it. No, they didn't. They didn't. So listen, uh, having a bank account is not a legal right. You have to apply to open one. At one point, I had a uh, like a like a lock or a freeze on my credit or something like that. Um, And I went to apply for a particular savings account and they were like, yeah, no, we we can't do it. And I was like, wait, well, hold on a second. Oh, of course they have that risk. And it's because I have this block on my credit. I don't have a right to an account at any particular bank. And they abandon their principles as soon as it's inconvenient. Twitter bans someone. Well, you should have a right to a Twitter account and Twitter should be regulated. I thought you guys were against that such regulation. And when we talk about management reserves the right to refuse service, as long as it's not illegal in the sense that they can't say we don't allow Christians to have bank accounts, right? Pillow is a Christian or so. So he says uh, if they said we, we're not going to allow Christians to have bank accounts, that would be against the law. Uh, if they said we don't allow white people, pillow is white. We don't allow pillow to have a bank account because he's white. That, that would be against the law. We don't allow pillow to have a bank account because he was born in the United States or because he's a man or because he's heterosexual. That would be against the law. But beyond that, there is a reason we say management can refuse service to people because they can make business decisions that are right for them. And of course, the truth is no legitimate business should want anything to do with my pillow or Mike Lindell. And so there he is abandoning his own principles. How dare they? 
How dare they do this? But of course, they are completely entitled to do it. One of our longtime sponsors is Monk Pack, giving you 20 percent off Monk Pack's keto nut and seed bars, which taste just like your favorite sweet snacks, but without the guilt because they have only one gram of sugar, two to three net carbs and 150 calories. A great snack if you're doing keto, if you're doing low carb and if you just want a low sugar snack. I love the Monk Pack nut and seed bars. Great balance of sweet and salty, satisfyingly crunchy, soft and chewy. Because I like these so much, I use Monk Pack's subscription feature, sends them straight to my house on a regular basis and saves me 10%. If you don't love Monk Pack as much as I do, they will refund you all your money. I think there's a really good chance Monk Pack nut and seed bars become your favorite go to snack. Monk Pack is giving you 20% off your first order. Go to monkpack.com and enter the code Pacman at checkout.